All right, so what I've done is I've scooped out all of this stuff here that you watch me, the walnut hulls and the, what you call it, the shumac berries in there. And you guys in Maine, I'm sure, know what this is. I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I'm sure you know what that's for. Which it also works great for skimming stuff off, just like you use it for skimming off ice. So, you don't have to get real particular. If there's some in there, there's some in there. It doesn't matter. So, I'm going to light the fire. And... Let's see. That work? Maybe. Get the fire lit, and I'll bring you back when it's boiling. When I put the match. There. Yeah, I think that's lit pretty well. I think that'll light fine. Whoa! Don't burn the camera. Don't do that. That's bad. Alright, I'll bring you back when it's boiling. It's almost a shame to burn up some of that cherry, but too short to use for much. I mean, I've seen people use small scraps like that to have these small little shops, and I, I'd sell it to them. I'd give it to them for free, but shipping's a darn expensive. So, you're just going to get burnt up. And it's already starting to get hot, so. Uh, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for it to heat up all, right, all the way, I'm just going to bring some more wood around, that way I have some more wood, so. Oh. So I'll show you how I hang these then. What I'll do, and I've been using the same board since I was probably three or four years old, survived the flood, but just have a board, a bunch of nails going down them, both sides, there's nails on both sides, so the part that you'd normally tie the trap off with, just hang it over the nail, and actually I'll go grab a trap. really deceiving to get a smooth video you gotta walk exceedingly slow but oh well I'll get over it <laughs> that one's kind of locked in there as is that one yeah here's one I got free it's just a number one and a half coil spring foothold uh, so the way this works, let me grab hold of it. You can see, I've already got wire tied on here. When I was pulling them last year, I just cut the wire off. But, the way this works, you just hang them over the nail, and they hang there and they drip dry. Just like that. It's very simple. So I'm gonna get the trap separated, because, as you can see, well, you can't see well on the camera, but that fire is just roaring. And it's already steaming. It's hot. So I'm going to get the traps all separated. I'll be back with you later. Look at that. Simmering. It's about boiling at this point. It might start boiling on the camera. But regardless of that. Uh, here's all of them set out. Most of them. Well all of them here are footholds. With just chains on them. That you use with stakes. These ones here have drags on. You got your three point drags and your two point drags. And they're efficient for setting out because you basically make your set and then you just leave it. You don't hook it to anything. And then as they try to run away with the trap on their foot, it gets caught in brush. Uh, these are coyote traps here. Uh, I believe they're, what are they? What number are these? These are two or three. I can't see it. Well, regardless, they're bigger. They're not one and a half. I think they're two or two and a half, something like that. And these are all single one and a halves. They don't, these, these ones here are all banded together in groups of five or seven-ish. Uh, 160 cona bears, pile of 110 cona bears, and there's a pile of 330s. And before the flood, we used to have at least twice as many traps. And I've lost four or five since the flood to bears. I mean, the sets aren't made for bears, but you put lard in a set with some stinky lure on it, 
bears are obviously going to come and investigate. They get caught around the foot. <laughs> they just take the trap with them. So I've lost a few that way, but most of them I lost in the flood. So when that gets boiling, we'll dump them in. Alright, so it's boiling, so I'm going to add uh, all of the ones that are green together. And I'll probably add the drags too. So just put them in nice and slow. The idea is just don't bust out the bottom of your container. Nice and slow, roll them in. What you call it? Stuff mess. Uh, I don't know what you call it. If I could see it, it would be easier for me to get the traps where they need to go. But oh well. We'll figure it out. And that's probably plenty. So let's try and get them all under the water. It's the idea to get complete coverage. That's it. I can't fit any more in here. That one probably shouldn't have had it. But the point is, get them covered just like that. And try and keep it boiling for, or close to boiling as long as it's hot for about half an hour. But, I mean, there's some metal poking up, but that isn't going to be a problem. As long as you get 95% of it under the water, you're fine. So I'll uh, get you back when this is done. So I'm ready to start taking these out here, so I'll show you how I go about that. Just kind of blindly reach in until I hook onto something. Which is sometimes kind of difficult to catch the first time. Once you've got something, kind of pull. And the first time, I caught a drag, of course. That's a fun one to do on the video. Ready for the next round. If we didn't get them all, we got 90% of them. Alright, that's probably it for that one. They're getting pretty difficult to put down. Ah, I 
actually I can put a little bit more. I'm just going to throw like two or three in sides. So yeah, and yeah, I did speed that up because you don't want to watch me do that for six minutes this was. Oh, by the way, Don, I know you're probably watching this. So that old building there, that's where I got all my tools. We're here for two years before you realize that, but besides the point, bring you back.